I cannot believe November is nearly here, so it's time to do some planning. I've gone for this dreamy cloud kind of theme, so grab your notebook and come and plan with me. Hey people, it's Temi if you're new here and first and foremost I just want to apologise for my raspy-ish voice. I've been ill for the past couple of weeks but the notebook I'm using is the Notebook Therapy Suki Nighttime Journal. I'll link it down below for anyone that's curious about it. But yes, let's go with November. I don't know about you guys but I simply cannot believe we're already planning for November. This year has felt so weird. It's felt like it's gone so slow at times, but also so quick. It's like we were in lockdown for how many months and the whole year's gone. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted a happy kind of theme for November. First, I'd start by drawing around a circular object on the page. And if you guys are familiar with my channel, familiar with my work, you know that my cover pages almost always involve a circle. In fact, last November, I went for the poppy theme and that's because in the UK we celebrate Remembrance Day in November and this is just to remember members of the armed forces who died in the line of duty. But if you'd like to see that plan with me video with that theme, I will link that down in the description box. And I'm also curious what your November theme is. So please leave a comment telling me your November theme down below. Okay, so for this spread, I've gone for watercolor, guys, you know, I don't like using watercolour in my bullet journal. It's not even about the paper withstanding it, it's just more about the effort it takes. I find it so much quicker and so much easier to use things like markers, but because of the light, airy, floaty approach I wanted for this theme, I just found that it'd probably be easier to do it in watercolour. So here I am using this watercolour set I got from Amazon and I started by wetting the entire circular area and then just putting hints of colour. The main colour for this month is purple but I wanted it to look like a beautiful sunset so going from a purple to pink to an orange colour. I then used a blow dryer to dry this first layer. I tried to be quite translucent with this first layer and then I've gone with a second layer of colour. Now you'll notice that I'm using two brushes. I don't know what the brushes are called. The first brush is just like a normal brush that I'm using to diffuse the colour but the second brush is this one that has water inside so I'm able to squeeze the brush to get some water out to then apply it. I really like this brush because it means you don't have to have water on the side but the reason I have water on the side this time is for the second brush when I want to diffuse some of these clouds. And yeah, I'm basically just applying some colour in blobs in the shape of clouds and I'm going from a purple right at the top to the pink orange colour at the bottom and that's the basic idea for this theme. It was meant to be very simple. I was inspired by two people. I've got Manon from Dutch Dots and Elizabeth from Plant Based Brides. I'll link both their Instagrams so that you can see their ideas around this kind of theme. But of course I made the theme completely my own. And now I'm just adding some white details. I started by just putting hints of white and then I thought I like this cartoony kind of look so I just kind of outlined all the clouds with a white pen and then I just added dots and stars and yeah I like the kind of cartoon look it gives it but also still quite floaty and airy. I really like the feeling behind this spread. Then I'm using the Acrylograph pens for my title and these Acrylograph pens by Archer and Olive are the absolute best pens for layering. So I made a whole review on the pens and I shared all my opinions around the pens but one thing I really loved about the pens was the ability to layer over various materials including watercolour. I've just done this N over the top in a simple calligraphy cursive. I used the 0.7mm first and then I did some faux calligraphy using the 3mm for the thicker downstrokes and I just love how simple but really pure this cover page is. I don't know how to explain it. And yeah, let's move on to the quote page. For the quote page, I've gone for this very simple quote, the sky is not the limit, believe. And of course I had to do a quote around this theme. 
but also I really do think it's important not to put a cap on the things that you think you can achieve and just to go for what you really want and really believe it and you can get it. I initially had this idea of doing this gradient using the markers with the believe text and you would have seen from the intro slide that this is not what I went for in the end but I just thought I'd still show you guys how I did this just in case you were interested in doing this kind of typography kind of effect in your bullet journal. I simply tried to do a little bit of blending by just going over all the different shades of purple down to the pink down to the peach orange colour and then I did some clouds and some dots in the text. Finally I wrote the sky is not the limit using the acrylograph pen. And guys I want to let you in on a little secret me achieving this cover page right now it's a fluke it's actually the fourth time i'm trying this cover page so you might have noticed that the middle of the page the binding looks kind of loose and that is because i ripped so many pages out oh my god <laughs> this is the first time this has ever happened to me normally i do a little bit of planning on the side and then i can just go for it and be happy with the theme but with this theme these are some of the examples i came up with that i was like this ain't it and I had to keep trying like it was actually stressful I'm not gonna lie to you but part of the prep session I had I really liked this idea of doing a gradient with the markers by putting the two markers together and then allowing the initial markers ink to flow to form a natural gradient and that is what I decided to do instead for the believe tech the first time I tried it it didn't really work it didn't have enough of the purple that I wanted but the second time I tried it, it just came out so much nicer and I prefer this text effect so much more. So here's the cover page and I guess a few lessons learned. Firstly, don't give up because <laughs> I was so close to you. Don't understand guys, I was so close. And yeah, here's the cover page and I'm actually very pleased with how it came out. Now we've got the monthly spread. I always do my monthly spread in this block calendar layout. I find it easiest for me to see the whole month at a glance like this. But also I make each of the boxes six dots by six dots. Unfortunately, November is one of those where it starts on a Sunday and then ends on a Monday. So that would have meant that I needed six rows. Last time I did a monthly spread that big, I did not like the spread. So I ended up deciding to put the 1st and the 30th on the same row. And you see that a little bit later on. The idea for this monthly spread was just to have the clouds on the left side of the spread, just going through the same gradient. So I started by just wetting the page and then just adding blobs and little hints of color going from the purple down to the orange. Then I used the hairdryer to speed up the drying process. And then I went in with some more pigment to just add a little bit of definition and I changed up the colors and I went again from the purple to the orange. I actually think this theme is really easy to recreate. It's interesting because you might think you have to be particularly artistic to do it, but if you think about it, the clouds really are just blobs on the page. I'm just doing circles that are bigger in the middle and then feathering smaller on the sides. I do a little bit of diffusing with the second brush just wet with water and yeah that's basically it. And then I'm taking the masking tape off. Something I forgot to mention, you have to be so careful, <laughs> look at this mess, I started to rip the page, you have to be so careful with the masking tape, in fact I've got a few different types of masking tape and I use the one that is the least sticky. And that's because I just want the masking tape to form this nice border for the painting, but I don't want it to completely stick the page down that I can't take it off without ripping. As soon as the painting's dry, I'm just doing an outline of white for all the clouds. It's just really this simple doodly theme. I'm adding some dots, I'm adding some circles, some sparkles, just to make it look really dreamy. Then I've got the header and then I've just gone with a purple brush pen. I just went for simple horizontal lines in the calendar and I added the dates to the bottom right and see what I was saying about having the 1st and the 30th on the same row. I was absolutely not trying to have six rows and to fill up all the page. I added the simple November title and yes, here's my monthly spread.
Next we have the mood and habit tracker spreads. So I had this really cool idea of having clouds just in the bottom left of the page. So basically going across both pages and then just having the habit tracker calendar blocks on the right side of the page. So I use my calendar block stamps again, they're literally my favourite to use because it just makes doing the spread so quick and easy. But I don't know what happened, I just really flopped every single time I tried to do it. Because November has 30 days and, the, and each calendar block stamp has 31, I used a door bar to remove the ink from the 31 and I think it worked really well. Then I did the header of each habit I'm going to track in the different shades of the purples and pinks. And although I forgot to include the key once again, <laughs> I always forget to include it in my planning videos, but the key will just go from the lightest colour to the darkest colour, signifying my moods. And I'm so curious to see what this spread turns out like. If you're interested as well, I always post final flip throughs of all my themes on my Instagram. So head over to my Instagram if you'd like to see that. Next for my gratitude log page. So the first thing I did before I did any painting for any of the spreads was to clamp down the pages. I think this really helps so that the entire page doesn't just crinkle up. And with this notebook therapy journal, it is 160 GSM. So it withstands quite a bit of watercolor, but just to avoid as much crinkling as possible, I just use these clips. Because I was painting around the corners of the page, I used this formation for the clips. And I did the exact same thing with the watercolour. So I wet the area so that the watercolour will flow a little bit easier. And then I just went from the lightest colour into the darkest colour in the border. And yeah, on the left I've got my gratitude log page. You guys know I like to keep a gratitude log just so that I have one thing every single day that I can be thankful about, that I can remember. And just try to pick a positive moment from each day. And on the right, you won't believe it, but the Art Brain Dump page is back. <laughs> if you're familiar with my channel, you know that for the last few months I haven't included an Art Brain Dump page, but this month, November, is about to be busy. And I just think if I have some extra space to do some November specific art planning, then this is the spread to do it. So I've just included the simple Art Brain Dump title and it's very similar to how I've always done it in the past. It's just a simple spread to dump some ideas down. And finally, we have the weekly spread. So once again, I'm just going in with water or the watercolor wash and I've just got this idea of having this cloud in the middle. And yeah, it's quite simple. I've just gone for a yellowy kind of colour towards the bottom of the cloud. So I've basically got two clouds, one in front of the other, and then I've got the purpley colour at the front. So as you can see, this isn't meant to be realism in the slightest. <laughs> it's just meant to show like a dreamy effect. I really like it. And then I've just gone for these dots on the page, which each day of the week, and I've got white in the black dots. Finally, I just go over with the white pen and just add a little bit of detail. And that is it for this theme. So here's my final flip through. And yes, this theme is so different for me. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments. I'm not, I'm still not really sure how I feel about it, but we'll see how I feel about it at the end of the month. I like to change up the colors I use for each of my themes. So it was time to try a purple flowy kind of theme. And yes, I'm not mad at it. So please like, please subscribe. Take a look at my last year's November theme and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.